Okay, today we're going to be going over the contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization tool in Cyril. This is a quick video. There's not much to this tool, but the end result that you'll get in your image are just phenomenal. It's definitely something you're going to want to add to your toolbox to add more contrast into your astro images. My name is Rich and you're watching Deep Space Astro. Okay, before we jump into Cyril and actually run the tool, I just wanted to give you guys a high overview of what it's doing behind the scenes. This is the dialog box that you will see once we run it, and we just have two options to play with here. The first one is a tile grid size, and what this will do is split your image up into tiles. Default's eight, but over here, for simplicity's sake, I just have it split up into four. What the tool is going to do at this point with these tiles is create a histogram for each one of these tiles. At that point, it'll take the clip limit that we set up here, take these pixel values and redistribute them evenly in the gray areas of all the tiles of the images. They refer to them as bins. So doing it this way allows us to increase the contrast without introducing a lot of noise, without affecting the brightness of the image. Just wanted to go over that, kind of give you a back of your mind visual as you're using the tool, but this is in fact what it's doing. So if we jump into Cyril, and again, I'm running 1.2.0 beta two as of time of recording. And I am just going to open up my fit file of the seven sisters, the starless version. I already, I've already processed this, stretched it, obviously removed the stars, did some post-processing on it. Well, one thing to point out in, you, in your workflow, you're probably already past this point when you're getting ready to run this, but you do want to make sure that you've cropped your image for any stacking artifacts that are around the edge because it'll throw things off. So now we're just gonna come up to image processing and contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization. And immediately you can see a change in the image because by default it turns a preview on for us. And we have eight tiles set and the clip limit at two. Those are our default settings. If I uncheck the preview and you watch the image, there's our before and there's our after. This really is just play with the sliders with the values here until you get the image to where you like it. This is really close with the, the star cluster with the seven sisters here. So we're not going to go too crazy with it. I guess just to show you here, we can go all the way up to 128. I can't imagine any situation where you would need to do that, but who knows? <laughs> so let's get back down to maybe around 10. And then our clip limit, you can take that all the way up. That's from 0 0.01 all the way up to 50. Again, really crazy stuff, but just to give you an idea of what it's capable of. And we're just going to bump this down. I think 2.1 looks good. So if I untick my preview and you watch in this area here, as well as the whole background, when I turn the preview back on, the contrast that it adds, it's really making everything pop a lot more than it was initially. So once you're happy with the results, click your apply button. And you're done so let me know what you guys think something you're going to be using add into your workflow have you played with it before what kind of results did you get with it let me know in the comments as always i appreciate everybody's time give the video a like share it out to your friends i'll see you in the next video and clear skies